ICQB Foundation Level Question 39. What is the objective of debugging? 1. Diagnosis. 2. To fix a defect. 3. Triggering failures. 4. To ensure that the fix does resolve the failure. Answers. A. 1 and 2. B. 2, 3 and 4. C. 2 and 4. D. 1 and 3. Please press pause to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is A. 1 and 2. According to definitions in the ICQB syllabus. We will see quotes for this in the last part of this video. Let's take a closer look at all the statements from 1 to 4 to find objective of debugging. Statement 1 is valid because diagnosis is a valid debugging objective. Statement 2 is also valid because fixing a defect is a valid debugging objective. Statement 3 is invalid because triggering failures is a testing objective, not a debugging objective. Statement 4 is invalid because ensuring that the fix does resolve the failure is a confirmation testing, not a debugging objective. Remember these two terms. Confirmation testing is retesting to check if the bug or failure has been fixed. And also, regression testing is testing all the areas to see if they work properly as a result of the changes made to the code. Don't mix up all these definitions. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.1.2 Testing and Debugging in the ISTQB syllabus. They can see that debugging involves diagnosis, fixing the cars. This is fully consistent with statements 1 and 2 of our question. Also, we can see our incorrect statements 3 and 4. Testing can trigger failures that are caused by defects. And subsequent confirmation testing checks whether the fixes resolve the problem. I hope this question is comparatively easy for you if you figure out these definitions of debugging, testing and confirmation testing. The main aim of my YouTube channel ICQB Questions is to help you improve your theoretical knowledge and help you to pass ICQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam. Your dream will definitely come true. Never give up.